welcome in for another one in this video i'm going back in the dod and this time i'm still using the same useless build uh but this time i'm gonna swap in a few hunter charms and now hunter is not the best solution to the majority of these flaws today so i'm gonna be able to show you there's going to be some flaws where the best strategies for them are outside of your class and you use the same strategies regardless of your class like using poison and using uh Hermes for Krella, things like that so there's things where the heroes outside your class do fit a little bit better but what i can show you is how you can fit these flaws into your class a little bit better and you show you alternate ways that you can do it with more limited heroes leveled up and then that is the build i've got the buff sword with the protect focus and fury on that is the finished version of the buff sword and i'm equipping useless heroes here i'm gonna go with the next gauntlet and i am just gonna rely on the level 60 weapon to do all the work in this floor and then as it starts off i told you it had an element of chance to it in the previous video and as it starts off he summons the healers straight off the bat now since i didn't bring macleod which is my recommended hero other ways that you can tackle these guys in the back is poison they're vulnerable to poison so if you're taking melissa or herney or a hero like that that's going to be useful as well or looking and macleod is an incredibly effective combo for this floor and you can use looking's rage to get the poison up use macleod to take out the one on the left hand side and it synergizes with the logician's gauntlet beautifully uh, you could even use the macleod rage for an odd delay here and there in that strategy there's a lot of options with that one very good for it if it's later on if it's on the fifth floor and stuff like that but since this one is on the first floor what i'm doing is i'm taking out the front line summons with the weapon i don't have a hero that can hit the back row hard enough i've brought eileen and camille these heroes are practically useless in this setting i just brought them to fill out the heroes lots to demonstrate to you uh, what's happening i do use uh, eileen rage here because once i've cleared out all the summons i want it to get exposed just to help that along and then i clear out this guy with the weapon it's tuned to goblin and it is level 60 but it's got all the buff charms on it so it's not it's not heavy on the damage if you do have the crit hammer that would work a little bit better for this uh, but yeah that's the first floor and then on the second floor it is sister nona again i don't know why they keep giving me similar sort of lineups but this is what we've got and i could have took taken Geber for this but since i already showed you Geber with the alchemist charms as well i decided to use a hunter hero i decided to use caliban because i've looked at the lineup and i'm not planning on using him on the further floors so it's quite important to plan ahead when you're doing this daily and i am using the champion's gauntlet because it synergizes with the enemies on this floor very well and it gives you rage as i've explained to you and the plan here is because i've got the 100 percent hunter charms equipped i'm planning to capitalize on them and use caliban rage he's gonna deal heavy damage to the militia guys on this floor and i'm trying to get into the back row I'm not actually successful, I have to defeat all the summons first, but because Caliban's rage heals you as well. The numbers are identical to Hermes's rage, so if you're boosting Hunter Charms, it is very effective. When there's multiple enemies, you get a big heal. You get heal from each one, he's strong versus armor as well. And his max start is strong versus acid, which is next to being useless. Gotta be honest, you would have to pair with Lanasa. And then rage Lanasa and then charge your rage again and rage Caliban. And then hope that they've still got some armor left because if it takes all the armor, then you lose the strong versus armor bonus and then you're only stuck with the strong versus acid bonus. Um, so, yeah, absolutely pointless. But that is what it is. And that is how I did this floor today. I would recommend using Geber as a staple if you can for this one because yeah that's the best way to do it i'm just showing you alternate ways in this clip and then floor three is rom 
that are Ram. I don't know how you pronounce any of these names, you know. These made-up names. I don't know how you pronounce them. But anyway, floor three is Ram. That's what I'm saying it. For this one, I'm taking the Logician's Gauntlet. I'm taking Lukin. And I'm taking Mika. And this is a super effective combo for this floor. There's many ways that you can tackle this floor. If it's lower down, if it's like on the first and second, you can just use your weapon to do that. But since this is a little bit higher up, I'm going to show you this combo. And what you do is you attack the first one like that. And then you use Lukin to stun the second one. Because they've got the protect. And if they get the protect off, it makes it a bit of a pain to get through and get into the back row. You have to beat them both on the same turn to get to the back row. Because then it'll keep so many ones on the front row. It's exactly the same as the normal onslaught floor 5 and floor 10. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rage Lukin. Which poisons everything. It's going to clear out that front row for me. And get me into the back. And then because the logician got like gains rage so fast. If I use a either of the base powers here, I'm gonna get about 45%, I think it is, of rage. And all I need to do is punch once and I can rage again. And then once the minions are cleared out, I simply finish it off with a Mika rage. And it went as quickly as that, this one. Very good combo for this floor. And then we've got Prototype on the 4th floor. The method that I take for this one always is Poison. Uh, but since there's no Ajax, I decided to take Millicent and Ayako. Millicent's Poison is better than Hernie's Poison. Because her max star ability is to increase the Poison by 100%. That's not times 2. It doesn't double anything. It's 100%. So it's like, um, it's the same as Poison Charms really, it's 100% off the base power. Now Poison Charms stack on top of that 100%, but it's not double. There's a lot of confusion around the terminology in this game. Um, but everything stacks. It never multiplies, it's always additive and everything stacks. So your Focus Charms on your weapon, they stack to other make 100% chance. Protect charms, two of them make 100% chance. Hero charms, they all stack and it adds on to the base of the hero's power. So our Melissa will do double the standard poison of what Herney does because they're both the same rarity, so their base poison damage is the same because she gets the 100% boost. And then all you do is you've got the chaotic gauntlet, you just keep using the two heroes' base powers and punching. Swing the sword for protect and fill up that rage. It's going to be properly efficient. And that is all you do. You just keep stacking up the poison. The poison is going to take out the demons each turn so they can't heal. And it's going to take out the cult mech riders and make sure they can't use their skill because you're not attacking their armor. And it is as simple as that for this floor. And then on floor 5, we have got Krella Stonewing. The best strategy to take for this, whether you have got Warrior Charms or not, is Ermus. And if you don't have Warrior Charms, what you do is you take Ermus and the Dark Gauntlet and Critter. Because then you can gain Rage quickly. And you can use Ermus Rage Power to heal up the recoil that it does to you and any damage from the minions from the enemies you can heal up all that damage through Ermus' um, rage because it heals the same as Caliban it heals per enemy so yeah even if you don't have any warrior charms if you do have warrior charms Ermus um, can just walk up and one shot this guy on floor 5 you're going to need about 200% I think it is I'm not entirely sure on those numbers but uh, yeah, if you've got Warrior Charms, it can one-shot it. If you don't have Warrior Charms, what you have to do is you have to bring either Critter or Brutus with the Chaotic Gauntlet, Holy Gauntlet. And make sure that you can gain Rage quick enough to heal up any damage as you use Ermus Base to slowly chip away at the boss in the back. At this time, I decided to use a slightly different strategy because everybody knows that one. Uh, so what I did is I took, I taken Brutus with Lanasa. And what I plan to do is just keep using Lanasa Rage because that's going to weaken everything. She is max stars here. That's going to weaken everything. 
It's going to keep the incoming damage low. And it's going to keep applying an acid to the boss in the back. And by doing that, I can just slowly chip away. And I'm not really in any danger at any point in this fight. It just takes a while longer. And I just wanted to show you a bit of an alternative strategy. So yeah, this is floor 5. And that is my guide to using hunters in the DOD. I have been James B09. Good luck out there.